Yeah, Cooper. But first, we're going to send it over Nuclear. to Carol. <laughs> oh, the debate me, Carol. continues. The <laughs> debate continues. Well, we all have difficult people in our lives that, you know, some people call them energy vampires. They just slow you down. Could be your neighbor, your boss, your mother, your mother-in-law. Today, we're learning how to get along. And here to help us get through this is the author of If You Really Want to Be Successful, Get Connected. Say hello again to Jolena Johnson. It's good to have you on Great Day Again. It's great to be here, Carol. This is a, this is a difficult topic because we all really do deal with difficult people. You have created this difficult person character. Mm -hmm. We'll just call that, that person Sam. Sam. Mm -hmm. Not an acronym, it's just Sam. It could be Samantha or Samuel. But okay. That, that person, when you think about that person and they, they come into your space and you say, oh, you here know, they you, come again. Here they come again. Now, you know, when you say here they come again, guess what happens? Here they come again. again. And so okay. you'll have that same experience. So what we want you guys to do is picture that Sam, that difficult person in your life, and let's mm -hmm. walk through what you should do. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, because when you say here, here they come again, you, you kind of tense up, but mm -hmm. you say breathe. Yes. Um, jewel number one is breathe. Jewel. Uh, jewel. This is Jolena's jewels. Number okay. one, breathe. Okay? So you want to take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it and then release it through your mouth. And, and does that give us a chance to, to are we relaxing? We're, yes. What are we doing? Yeah, it actually gives more oxygen. Okay. Okay, it actually allows you to calm down, and then you can choose to respond versus react. Because what, what you say, Jolena, is that we go into autopilot. Yes. Generally. Mm -hmm. We tense up, and we mm -hmm. just automatically do whatever we do. We, we should not be in autopilot. Right, because what happens is we see it, and then we think about that tragedy or that traumatic thing that happened before, mm -hmm. and then it shows on our face, and we'll start to frown. Yes, we do. Have those per poor expressions, mm -hmm. and then we'll get yeah. what we've always gotten. We don't want to do that. that. Look at the camera, give them that. There it is. They there it is. all have one of those. <laughs> okay, number two of Jolena's jewels of dealing with Sam, the difficult person, mm -hmm. is to practice, practice, practice. Okay, yes. what am I practicing? Practice your smile. Now, this can be a fake smile, so we want to put a smile on our face. That's a beautiful fake okay, smile. Okay, thank you. And then we look <laughs> in our mirror and we say, please pass the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know you can't stand me and I can't stand you, could I have the butter, please? Now, we say please pass the butter because if you think about it and you're at dinner and you say please pass the butter, it's really no big deal, right? Right, exactly. Okay, but when you're talking to Sam, why is it all of a sudden such a big deal? It's because something that you have in your head, so you want to get off autopilot and practice being pleasant with Sam even though it doesn't feel good. And it's not just one practice. It's over and over. Over and over. And over and over. And, over. Mm -hmm. and, and also that changes our tone. Absolutely. Because I could say pass the butter. Yes. Or I could smile, do the fake smile, and, and be pleasant. Right. And, okay. and, and the, por the purpose of the fake smile is to eventually be in a genuine smile. Okay. So, so we're practicing the smile so that eventually we will be genuine because we're really trying to get along with Sam so we can have a better relationship. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. We tend to avoid conflict. Mm -hmm. we we, most of us, we just want it to go away. Mm -hmm. So you say, Jolena's Jewels, show it until you know it. Absolutely. What does that mean? That means that I have to say, what do I really want in this situation? Mm -hmm. And if what I really want is to be courteous and kind, if what I really want is to connect with this person, because it could be my partner, you know, my mother-in-law, my child, whoever it is. My boss. My boss. Yes. Okay. I want to say, Sam's not going anywhere. So guess what? Here's the thing. Some conflict will never be resolved. Okay. Say now, that again. Okay. Some conflict will never be resolved. And let me, that's, say, and let me that's say it again, Carol. That's a bitter pill to swallow. Say it again. Some conflict will never be resolved to my satisfaction, especially with Sam. Okay, that hurts though. I know. Because <laughs> I do want it to go away. I do want to resolve it. I, uh -huh. I, I want them to move out of the city. Uh -huh. I, I want a different boss, but that's mm -hmm. not going to happen. You don't mean that. We're going to take that part off. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, but okay. really, yes, we, we really do want it to be better. And if you have chosen not to go anywhere and Sam has chosen not to go anywhere, then guess what? You get to get along. So, so what I said was it may not be resolved to my satisfaction. It doesn't mean okay. it may not be resolved. Gotcha. Okay, because they're not going to move. They're probably not going to change. Just because you want to be happy and go lucky and feel good does not mean that Sam's so, disposition is going to be any different. So your bottom line is you got to choose the experience, and we can do that. It's your choice. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Jolene is going to have an upcoming book party. If you'd like to meet her, it's Friday, October 15th at the Vaughn Cultural Center, happening at 6.30 to 8.30. And we have all the information on our website, greatdaystlouis.com. Kent? Well, first of all... Pass the butter. First of all... <laughs> Sam, I am. <laughs> We're number to give that two, part away. <laughs> number two, the, the, the in through the nose 
and out through the mouth. The deep breath thing, Jolene, I think works very well for me. I, that's proven in the past because my breath is so bad. Oh that my when goodness. Sam comes in my office and I go, <sighs> he turns around and walks right back out. You know I what I'm knew, saying? I knew you were going to take this, walk out. this beautiful topic. <laughs> And I'm turn just, it on no, Pete. I'm <laughs> saying that everything she she's spot on with everything. Thank you, Ken. This Thank is what I learned, Jolena. Producers, please don't make me stand next to this <laughs> anymore. Yeah, we're gonna get that a little bit more. Please pass the butter. Say it with conviction. <laughs> Say it like it mean it. <laughs> oh, Go. All right. Well, if you have a flair for cooking and you've always wanted to learn from the best, the Culinary Institute of St. Louis at Hickey College might just be the place for you. You'll love it. I don't exactly have a flair for cooking, as you well know, but I do like to eat, so I decided to pay a visit to the Institute. Hey, everybody. We're at the Culinary Institute of St. Louis. Let's go inside and find out what's cooking.